Quite like stepping out of your van in the morning on a frosty morning like this one and seeing the tallest free falling waterfall in Switzerland right outside of your door. That is so, so beautiful, glistening in the sun. Any cars in here? No, not cars. <laughs> what do you need? What we're going to find? A bath. We're going to find a bath. We yeah, do. Where's the best guy? Can you see it? No, can you find it? Mama, find it? Yes, I'm waiting here. Okay, you, you wait there. Let me go see. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I'll show you where it is. Okay. Is it in here? Come in and see. No. It's not in here? No. No? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. That's a changing mat for a little baby. Is there no bath in here? No. I think you might be too small to see it. Come here. Baby, hey, hey, what's that? What's that? Oh, it's a bath. <laughs> it's a bath. It is. Okay, let's get in that bath. Let's get it. Okay, little man, I think your bath's ready. You ready? Yeah. Ready to get in? Yeah. To get in right now? This is a bit of a treat, isn't it, Jace? Yeah. We've been having to have showers. Yeah. Jace loves his bath, don't you? And you want to jump in the bath? No, I got my clothes on. No, well, yeah, I'm going to take your clothes off first, okay? <laughs> Me and Jace are talking all about Christmas. Uh, Jace has got his a adorable me, me. little Jace. I am raw some top on. This is from what's my that? Instagram page. What's that? What's that? Check them out. It's a dinosaur. Yeah. And it says you are awesome. Do you think so? Yeah. I think so then too. Get me down. Well, I need to finish getting you ready first. We've got to do your hair. Oh, okay. don't do my hair. We've got to brush it and then dry it. <laughs> okay. What, sweetheart? I have a red hair brush. It is a red hair brush. We've got you all ready and dressed. Now we just got to do your hair. You're going to sit with Isabel for five minutes so Mama can jump in the shower? No, don't get in the shower. No, yeah, I need to. No, you yeah, I know. I'm going to take them off. Isabel's going to get herself ready while you sit here and do your hair, okay? Do you, yeah. want, you need to brush your teeth. <gasps> Yay! We brush our okay. teeth. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to get your toothpaste and okay. toothbrush. Okay, but let me go down. You can get down when you brush your teeth, okay? This is the water. Yeah. Hi, guys. So I just got out of the shower. And it's such a nice shower, except for like the things that turn on, they're like really, really strong. And I literally fell. It was so... I was so just going to my school out. <laughs> um, so I just got out and I've got dressed and I'm just about to brush my hair. And I think me and Esme are going to go play on the park that's at the campsite. And there's like a big slide so I'm going to go play on that when I brush my hair. All showered and feeling fresh. Babe. Chris is just in the shower right now. Hair brush. Oh, thank you, Ellie. Do you need it? Yeah. I just Shower's. walk into the men's toilets. Here you go. Where are you? Okay, it's on the end. Get out of here. <laughs> Nobody in here, so don't worry. Anyway, the best thing about being on a campsite for me is by far. Oh, it's chilly out here. What's that? Lights coming back. There we go. I can't carry everything, guys. Sorry. Right, the best thing about being on a campsite for me is 100% the nice, spacious showers. Look at our little vanner over there. <laughs> I would run, but I've got Daddy's flip flops on. 
we've rubbed off now. Oh, Esme, I'm never going to get used to this view. Look at the view. <laughs> turn around and we can see the toilet block. No, I turned around and I just saw the push and I was like, can you see that? I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> so we are checking out of here today in the next hour probably we've made the most of showers this morning we've all had a shower Jason meals got a bath, the bath. and then yeah, these two are just going on to you right now yeah we're just waiting for to put her jumper. okay Isabel's coming looking after Jason meal at the van whilst I got a shower and Chris is getting a shower well Chris has just gone to get a shower I'm done so he's only just left we're gonna get on the road guys we've got a one more one more sightseeing stop to go. You alright, Izzy? Yeah. Everyone good? Uh -huh. All nice and calm in here, what we're like. We've got one more stop to see today before we make our way back home. I'm missing oh. a sock. Esme's <gasps> missing a sock. <laughs> so, we've now making a bit of a detour, making, we've now taken a bit of a detour to the hospital emergency room. Because Esme I I fell off. thought it might be a good idea to try and chop her, thing, chop her finger off. I did not. <laughs> And I'm she didn't quite get there, oh, taking it off, but you know, she thought it'd be a good idea today to just try and cut the finger off. And uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> so basically she was cutting herself an apple because you know, who wants to eat an apple the normal way by just taking a bite out of it? I like to look inside of it in case there's worms in it. Well now you can look inside your hand and see if there's worms in there. So basically she's cut her finger like it's not just here. Um, across it's there, nice. and so we thought it'd be best to um. It didn't at first. It didn't even hurt. I just I was just so I was just in shock because I looked at it. And at first, it wasn't bleeding, so I could literally see the insides of my finger, um, and all this thick skin. It was oh my god, it's horrible. And and then I was like, and I went, mommy, I've got, I sliced my finger. And then she was like, what? What's happened? And she looked at it, and then I started I, I started crying because when I opened my finger, I could see the inside of my finger, even though it wasn't really it, it wasn't even hurting. Like why wasn't it hurting? Like it was just like shock, ache. it was just your adrenaline. Sometimes it does that. But yeah, it's, it's now aching, it was stinging, and now it's aching. Yeah, so... Should we do a warning? Because I'm, I'm, I am i don't mind you showing it. Do you want to show it? Yeah. You don't have to? No, I, I, I don't care. Okay, I'm going to do a warning. I will say it's, it is a bit gross, but it's not really bad. So, when you first look at it, it just looks like a little cut. It's not really bad. But you'll see why we do need to check it out. Are you sure you want to show it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so here's your warning. Right, so can you straighten your other fingers? Yeah. fingers. Oh, so this is why we feel like we need to come and get it checked because obviously where it is, just there. It aches. Um, uh. Right, if you look carefully, you can actually see. I'm not going to straighten a finger because that'll open it up yeah. and then it'll start pouring out with blood again. But you can actually see here, as my <laughs> your other fingers in the camera. Sorry. You can see um, the muscle coming out, like fat, fat coming out. Yeah. Them little ball things there. So that definitely needs checking. They're probably gonna, I'm not sure, um, stitch that off or something. I'm not gonna straighten a finger and open it, but you can see from, camera's all blurry. You can see from this shot here anyway that it definitely needs checking out. So we've driven straight up to the hospital. It was only about 20 minutes away, which is good. We're gonna go inside now and hopefully really see what scared. they say. What It'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's go. Okay, we're all checked in. How are you feeling, Ez? Like my finger's a bit numb, but other than that, fine. Good, fingers crossed. They said that, they said that we shouldn't be waiting too long until we see um, a nurse who will assess her finger, obviously, just like at home, really, and decide if it needs to be left or if it needs gluing or stitching. I think they might just glue it and bandage it up. So we just saw the nurse and she said that She's not sure if anything needs to be done with this at all, which is really good. Yes. And um, the doctor will come and assess it, but it might need one stitch. Yeah, she said it might, might need one stitch. It might need one stitch, it might need nothing. But she got Esme to open her hand, and when Esme opened the finger, before it was like gaping open, it looked yeah. really rank. But now, in the last half an hour, it's already started to heal, so it's still kind of open. Oh no, oh no, that looks rank. Sorry. That, that looks so gross. <laughs> So yeah, you can still see it's kind of open, but um, we're not sure. So maybe one stitch, maybe they'll just leave it to go on its own. Who knows? I think they'll put a stitch in that. It looks yeah, a bit. Yeah, or maybe looks... at least bandage it up. They'll definitely bandage it up. Yeah. Okay, we're now in our little room. That was quick. It was very very quick, and we're just waiting for doctor to come and see what he says. What are your bets on? I kind um, of feel like he'll maybe one stitch. Maybe 
one stitch and then bandage it. I'm not sure. Yeah, so I think. It's really hard to hear. These doors are all like electronic. Just slide open. Really cool. Oh, right. Let's sit and wait. Hopefully we're not waiting too long. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm Frances, nurse. Oh, I'm Sarah. This is Esme. Hi, Esme. Uh, and okay. she's, she's hurt her finger. She's cut her finger. Yes. Tell me what happened. So I was cutting an apple for my sister and it kind of went through my finger. Okay. We're not sure if it needs to be left to heal or if it needs glue in or a stitch maybe. We're not too sure. Okay. How about the pain? It was kind of stinging, and it was aching and like throbbing, but it doesn't hurt that much now. It's just a bit aching. So you don't need anything? Really? No. Do you think? No. It's okay. So um, it was bleeding a lot. Yeah. Um, it, it 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 bled initially, but it wasn't like prolonged bleeding. Okay. It stopped very quickly. Okay. No, she no. means just this the same is... finger. Okay. No, the same finger, yeah. And side okay. to side. Okay. So, um, the doctor knows that you are here. Huh? We, in a moment, we got a lot of patience, but he will come to you as soon as possible. Okay. Huh? It's okay for you? Thank so. you. Ah, oh, very quick. <laughs> very quick. Yeah. Very quick. Very quick. <laughs> Oh, very quick. Ah, very yes. quick. Ah, sorry, I didn't get it. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, so, yes, yeah, uh, Esme's hurt, she's cut her finger. What, what happened? I was ah. thank you. pressing an apple and it sliced. Yes, I see. Ah, okay. What, where are you? Where are you from? England. England. Ah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, no We just wanted to double check. Maybe it doesn't need nothing. We just wanted to double check that yeah, yeah, it was okay. Yeah, It should, you should come. From, yeah, from, yeah, yeah, because good. It's, uh, how to say, clapping? Yes. Yeah, a little uh, bit. Yeah, so of course. It's better, better to make a, a suture. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have to do it. But one suture, I think it's okay. It's great. Okay. Super good. Then I will count. Oh, okay. allergies? Any allergies? No. No allergies. Yeah, right, 15 more wings. Left side. Medication? Do you take any medication? No. I don't know whether my English is good. No, it's really good. Very I good. Oh, it's uh, very good. Super good. Uh, any other diseases? No. I'm not. All the slime. So, what about the same position? Yeah. Then. Uh, one or two sutures, I don't know. Okay, one or two. Yeah. The suture. The thickness. Ah, the thickness of the stitch. Ah, uh, oh, uh, okay. Five <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should be. <laughs> okay, four less thing. Yeah, four. Four and a half. Four and a half is good. Yeah? Right. 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 Look at her socks, Esme. Look how cool her socks are. This is so cool, we've got toes. <laughs> so if you get anaesthetic, it'll numb it, but you'll have to have an injection to get the numbing. Or yeah. you don't have to have the injection and they'll just do it. What do you think? Yeah, we will see. We'll see. I will see. We'll see. I will, I will, I will see. Because if it is just one suture, then I do not need. Because otherwise I have to... Hard work. To, to do it two times. And just one time is enough. Okay. <laughs> it's better without. Yeah. Okay. 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 But I will see. One or two. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. I will come in two minutes. Okay, yeah. thank you. So, it's looking like one or two stitches. Mm, I think it will hurt because I don't really want the injection thing. I don't think it she will said. hurt. You might feel it a little bit. Yeah. Feels like a little pull in, but it's not going to hurt. He said that he doesn't want to give her the anaesthetic because that hurts probably just as much or if not more than the stitching and yeah. she might only need one stitch so he does, if she only needs one stitch he doesn't want to give the anaesthetic that's what he yeah, said yeah i don't i don't think I would, i'll need it but yeah esme doesn't really want to have the the anaesthetic so fingers crossed fingers crossed let's have a look i don't last think peak <laughs> there we go he said it was definitely right to come in um because it's obviously it's pretty open i'm surprised it doesn't hurt with how much it looks he was he was ragging that around yeah, as well like doctor yeah. yeah he probably not hurt too many Bit nerve endings maybe probably sting a little bit when he's doing it not gonna lie but i don't think it's gonna hurt you i think you'll be okay and just remember if it does hurt too much you can tell him to yeah. stop 
because obviously they've got to clean it up and stuff first. Yeah. What you like, eh? <laughs> I'm never quitting an apple again. <laughs> last day. <laughs> last day. One of our last days. One of our last days, yeah. Dear me. <laughs> Well done! Okay, we're all done. How was that? Painful. Was it? Yeah, it hurt. Hurt? Um, after, when he, when he was putting the needle in, when he started getting everything out, I was like, oh my <gasps> god, I was panicking. <laughs> um, um, and then, because they started cleaning it, and then um, when they put, they put the, it in, it hurt. Yeah. <laughs> They're just going to put some rods on now, so that you can... <laughs> It's okay. So that, um, she doesn't bend her finger too much. Okay, we're all bandaged up. She's very kindly gone to get some painkillers, just in case anybody has any pain. Given us lots of spare supplies, which is so good. Yeah. And we're pretty much all ready and done and ready to go. We've yeah. probably been in here half an hour, maybe. Yeah. From first parking up outside. Feels a bit weird. She's not to bend it for a couple of days. Well, she can't bend it. They've put yeah. a splint in here, which is why it's so thick. But um, it's all done. You feeling okay? Yeah. Sure? <laughs> I think it's uh, sugar, something like that. <laughs> and then and, uh, it is in operation in in the stomach in the occupation. Stomach. So oh, he's, he's, he's searching. Dropped, it. He's dropped it in. Ah, oh, he's <laughs> dropped it in. in he's dropped the sweet in his stomach. Yeah, and he's gonna take it out and yeah, eat it. He tries. <laughs> oh no! Oh, put that back. That's not. That's not the thing he's that's searching good. for. <laughs> <laughs> so he just got back to the car. That finger. <laughs> I just want to say how lovely the doctor was in there and the assistant as well. So, so kind, so lovely. And in the last clip, I think at the end I filmed because he, he was fine with us filming. He just said that I had to get his best side. <laughs> He's like, make sure you get my best side. Um, but it was so lovely and he was showing Esme an episode of Mr. Bean where Mr. Bean's doing a medical procedure and drops a sweetie in a bullet patient. And then he's searching around inside the patient. I don't know if anyone's seen this episode, but it was so funny. Yeah, you love Mr. Bean, don't you? Um, and then was rooting around inside to get out the sweet basically and then he got the sweet out cleaned it and ate it hilarious but not funny if you don't like that humor i guess anyway these guys have caused chaos in here jace is out of his car seat mila's out of her car seat yeah let me get out how did you cause so much chaos you've been gone 30 minutes i've been sat in the front the whole time i've been in the front so we need to get everyone's car seats fixed back in we need to get are we gonna have time to go where we're going today now i feel like telling us he knows where he's going guys but we're currently in a queue to get on a blooming train with our car <laughs> <laughs> we've, gone the wrong way. we've gone the wrong way obviously and we're now waiting in a queue with a load of other cars to get onto a train with the car or the van should i say hopefully we'll find a way out okay this road's definitely it don't worry i know where we're going this is definitely the way oh yeah it is but it's short why is it short we have our day so we've come all this way for nothing because it's closed. We're so closed, we're three kilometers away. Why? <laughs> so it's been a long, 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 long day. Thank you, Esme. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry, it's just an accident. So basically we were driving to some sort of glacier amazing lake. He's so foggy. And, and cold. As you guys saw in the last couple of clips, we kept getting lost. And then we actually found the place we were supposed to go, but due to heavy snow, that's due tonight. And tomorrow the road to get there is closed. Uh, that's what this tends to happen quite a bit here in Switzerland. It tends to, they tend to close the roads off. They put a barrier down. You can't use the roads because of snow, obviously it's not safe. So it would basically have been about an hour and 40 minute trek. That's what it says on the map. So for us, probably about a two and a half hour trek. Wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't going to be minus two tomorrow. I don't think that that would be fair to do on Mila. And I don't think it would be fair to do on Jace either because it's just too cold to and be it outdoors. Take two hours with our slow that, well, that's what I mean, probably about two and a half. So we've decided instead to 
head home. So I guess the glacier and the lake were just not meant to be this time. We'll have to leave that for the summer. It's probably going to look better in the summer anyway. Right now it's probably going to be very snowy and very icy and very beautiful. But I definitely, definitely want to see it in the summer in its lush greenness and the green lagoon waters and definitely take a while to a minute as well, without doubt. So I guess we'll have to leave that till next time. But that's okay because now it is time for us to start the mammoth journey back home. This was always the plan and that's the beauty of van life is that when it's time to go home all you have to do is pack up your stuff and crack on and off you go. So we're going to pitch up here tonight and um, start the massive journey home tomorrow. So on that note give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Everyone here is almost fast asleep. My little man's just fast asleep right next to me there. Isla's on her way right now. We're all super tired tonight. It's been one of them very very long busy days today. Crazy that we woke up in the mountains this morning and uh, had all these plans and they just went kaput so quickly. <laughs> but it's all good. It wasn't meant to be this time. So give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5pm. Good night guys. Bye.